In this video, I want to show you very practical and effective way to create 3D environments for your car design renders. Actually, you know what? Let's start by this background I have. First, let me remove this blur effect. I think now you see it in a better way. And actually, let me remove myself as well. And now let's see this environment in Blender itself. So here we are on Blender. Of course, I created my background on Blender. And we can rotate and see what is behind the scenes, you know? It's a little bit noisy here, so I will just go to Material Preview rather than the Rendered View. And you can see it's actually a very, very simple environment. I just created some walls and a ground, and I just imported some shells, some plants, and this is also my model here. This model is also done by me during a workshop that I will make another video about it soon. And I put a frame of Porsche, of course, because everybody loves Porsche. And here we can see my mini Blenderman, Mini Blenderman model. I call this car Blenderman because, you know, Mini has Clubman, Countryman and this kind of cars. And there was like a Rocket Man as a concept. But anyway, this is from my Blender course. If you are not aware, if you are new to channel, I have a Blender course for car design specifically for beginners level. For now beginners level. It's the first course, but I'm working on the new course, which will be more about advanced shapes, more complex forms and surfaces. So stay tuned for it. But simply, I just put the card here and I just set up a camera, which is in real life camera scenario, uh, more or less same lens, more or less the same angle with me. So when I put myself into this environment, as you see, I blend into it in a nice way. But how to create this type of environment with all these walls, textures and stuff? It's very easy. It's also free and it's very effective way. So here we are in an empty default Blender file, in a new pop, new file. I'm just gonna delete everything and I need a car. And thankfully I'm a car designer, so I have a car here which is the Cabrio from the Iro Cars project that I'm working on. It's an NFT project that I can give you the details later, it's a little bit slow nowadays. I'm gonna hide my guide mesh that I shrink wrapped the form, the main form. And I'm working on this kind of more complex surfaces for my also new course as I mentioned. So. If you have any suggestions, if you have any specific questions for car design, what would you like to learn from the advanced course, please write down on the comments so I can put them in the new upcoming course. And I will share more details about it later. So let's go to material preview. I already assigned my materials before, but we have nothing else on the scene at the moment. So first we need a ground, right? So I'm going to shift a mesh plane, scale it up. Let's be sure that the car is sitting on it and go to maybe side view is more or less a big ground and rather than generating the material for the ground myself I don't want to spend time on it so I will go to blenderkit.com it is a free add-on you can download and use right now it's not sponsored or anything but I really like this because there are tons of HDRs materials free models and stuff that can be like a secondary thing like a support for your scenes and for your renders so I downloaded the blender kit from here then go to edit preferences, add-ons and click on the install here. Pick the download location and install the add-on and check the box so it will be ready to use. Here on the left, on the right, sorry, you can find this blender kit. There are models, materials, scenes and stuff. So let's go to maybe materials and here we have a search box so I can write maybe asphalt. And there's this eye icon if it's hidden you can click there. And we have different asphalt options here. But let's say I want something like, let's use this one. So I'm just going to drag it and put it on my plane that I created. And it's supposed to work. Let's see. Yes, it's loaded. So this is an asphalt material. So I want to add already a camera to my scene. And I will just set the camera here. And I will just change the angle somewhere that I want to take the render of this car. Let's say somewhere like that. What I want to do next is I want to add a little bit more interesting stuff, interesting details to this render. Rather than seeing only the ground, maybe we can change the angle also. Maybe a little bit more lower angle like this. And I want to add some walls. So again, I will just shift A, mesh, plane, R, Y, 90 degrees, G, X, scale it up, move it somewhere like that, move it up a little bit. I will go to my camera view to see where does this wall stays. Maybe we can have until here, it can go somewhere like this. And then we can have another wall, which is like a 90 degrees angle to this one. So we can have some more interesting shadows and stuff there. Or we can also adjust this wall rather than a simple plane. We can do some other stuff. 
But first, let's put the materials. So I will just type here concrete and click on this eye icon to see the materials. And we can have this typical concrete or there is this texture there stuff. We can concrete honeycomb. We can also use it maybe. Let's try this one. Let's see how it looks. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but here it is. I, I don't think it fits. I will just go with this typical one. I think this one looks fine. Let's go to camera view. I think it works. It's a concrete wall. So I will just change my camera angle a little bit like this to show the background in a better way. So now I can create another plane. Again, I can just rotate it around, move it back, scale it up. Let's go to camera view again. So here we will have some shadows, like they're not touching each other. So there will be a gap in between, or we can put a light beam there. So it can be like a nice light coming from that direction. Maybe we will see. And this wall can be a different kind of concrete. Why not? Because we have all these options. Let's experiment with it. Let's see the render view already, how it looks. At the end, we don't have any light or we don't have HDRI. So everything looks dark. And we are on the EV, so I can just go to maybe cycles. I want to use cycles on this render. And I will go to GPU if Blender will let me do it without crashing. Okay, I was a bit scared because the Blender didn't uh, respond for a moment. So I went to wireframe mode. And now I will go here to come to GPU. And I will just save my file before, you know, before trying to cycles again. So let's try rendered mode again. And let's hope for the best. Okay. Seems fine. Let's try to add an HDRI. You can already install, um, import an HDR that you already have. Uh, I didn't try yet, but from Blender Kit also we can find some HDRIs. Maybe let's see this snowscape with clouds. I don't even know where to drag it. Download original. Okay. Let's see. It's downloading now the HDRI, so it might take a little bit of time, but it's very useful. Like we can just pick the HDRI here and we can just drag it and it will help us. By the way, I'm planning to make another video just focused on some add-ons that I really like to use and which helps for card design specifically. So stay tuned for this as well. Here we go. I think it added the HDRI now. I can see on the back and looks not bad. It's promising. I can see it's some harsh shadows here. So we have a strong light source probably. Uh, for now to make it easier, I will just go to material preview and I will go to my shader editor here to see what do we have. I will go to world and maybe we can make it a little bit less strong, like 0.5. So I want kind of like darker HDRI. And the reason for that is I want to add my own light to the scene to have this nice, very sharp uh, light reflections around the car. I will show you soon. I'm not convinced with this HDRI, so I will install another HDR that I already have on my computer. Maybe let's go with something like Venice Sunrise. And it looks better. It looks pretty cool. I am more convinced with this one. Maybe we can even increase the strength a little bit, like back to one, maybe back to default. And I think it looks very fresh and more soft light. I like the soft light because we will add the harsh light ourselves soon anyway. So let's go to material preview again to see it in a faster way, faster preview. I'm just going to add a shift A big cylinder here to the scene. Let's scale it up a little bit to put the car inside of it, more or less, like that. I will go to edit mode, add an edge loop here, add another edge loop here. I will go to face selection mode and pick this face as a rim and control I and X delete faces. So basically I created a ring here that I can move up a little bit like that. And I'm going to give it an emission material. So materials, new, rather than principled, I will go to emission. And I will increase it a little bit. Let's go on the rendered view how it looks. Because this light is supposed to create this very nice reflections around the car. Of course, if the surfaces are nice. And this will be also a topic of my advanced blender course coming soon. So that's what I mean. This nice reflections around the car. You can move this light up or down depending on what type of effect you want. We can even change the color of it. I kind of want to catch a reflection on this rear muscle. Nice smooth reflection. Okay, I'm happy with this type of location. So what we need to do now is I'm going to go to this menu here, object properties, visibility, and I don't want it to be visible on the camera. So when I take the render, we will not see the light itself, but we will see the reflections on the car. Maybe a little bit up like this. We can also add additional lights to different parts of the scene to make it more contrasty and so on but I will do a Photoshop editing afterwards anyway. This wall is not so convincing for me. I want a little bit more harsh shadow between these two so maybe I can just create a gap between them. A little bit longer gap, a bigger gap or like 
I kind of want to have a shadow in between, you know, right now they seem very similar also because of the colors are similar to each other. But because of we have the HDRI, we have like a very big light coming from the top. So maybe rather than try to figure out by the HDRI, rather than manipulating the HDRI, I can just create a plane, scale it up, move it in between them. Let's go to camera view because I don't want it to be visible, but I want to scale it up like this. And let's go to render it again. And this plane should uh, block the light coming from HDRI. So it creates exactly, it creates this nice uh, shadow between these two walls. And that's exactly what I wanted from this render. Right, I think I'm pretty happy with how it looks so far. We can also add additional light there maybe, like nice light beam coming from there. But it's not a must. I just want to adjust this wall. I want this um, cracks to be exactly touching to the floor. So it will be like more clean wall there, a bit more realistic. And let's see also this one, how it looks. This one looks fine. Okay, this is the scene. Now let's set the camera. I want to add like this a background blur, like the depth of field to the render. So for that, I'm just going to add an empty plane axis, G, Z, G, X. I want to, I will use it as the focus point for my render. So it kind of interacts, it kind of touch intersects with this part of the car. So I'm going to pick my camera. I will go to camera settings and depth of field and pick the object and this empty. And I will bring the F stop to something like 1.4. And now we have like a nice background, so like the depth of field, the background is blurred and this part of the car is on focus. I kind of like this car's color, by the way. It's like a, like a racing green, but not exactly. I will just change my camera angle a little bit. Okay, let's save our file and hit the render. I took also a couple more renders and I just edited them in Photoshop a little bit, like changing the contrast, adding a little bit more different color, saturation and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the renders. One more thing before you go is you can also add some models to your scene with this Blender kit. Rather than just materials, we can go to, let's click on this eye icon and you can search for things like, I don't know, a shelf that I have on my background. And you can just hold a shelf and drag it to your scene. It came on a different angle, but then we have this shelf here. I can just select objects, R, X, 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees. Move it a little bit like that. G, Shift, Z and bring it on somewhere. So I don't know, you can also add this type of details to your scene. Maybe let's bring it close to the wall. Let's see the render. I mean, it doesn't make sense in this scene specifically, but you know, with this type of secondary things, you can make your scene more interesting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. And if you are new, please subscribe to the channel for more car design content. See you in the next video.